So in today's video, it's going to be a kind of a depressing subject. Uh, as you can see on my on my channel, I'm no longer a stock market millionaire. Yes, my money has gone down below a million dollars. It sucks, but I was aware that this could have this could have happened. I could have I could have set myself up to take precautions from losing too much money. But I was being an idiot. I was being way too bullish on the cannabis market, and now I am. Now I'm down. But at the same time, I truly believe in the cannabis space. I truly believe that these companies will recover. It will take some time. At the moment, I think the stock. I think stock prices are going to continue to go down. Uh, but I do believe that this is an opportunity. I think that you know. Uh, things will recover. It might take a while. It might take until the legalization of the United States. So we could not see it for another couple years, three years. We could it, the stocks might stay down as a shell company for the next couple years. I don't think that's going to be the scenario, but I'm that's a possibility. Uh, all I can do is you know go find, go back to work, keep saving, keep dumping money into the cannabis space. And hope that when the United States become fairly legal, I make all my money back plus some more. That's all I can do. I have took some precautions uh, at the moment, but I'm not going to disclose those precautions. Uh, so just in case the stock market does sell off further. Uh, so, you know, uh, Aurora is down to $5.82, you know. Right now, you know, let me just explain the, my story if some people haven't heard it. I bought in Aurora around December of 2016. Uh, I put in about, you know, I, I started investing into December. I saw the stock price was around 40 something cents. So I took massive amount of risk buying the stock around $2 and uh, around $2. But I really believe in the cannabis space. I was... You know, I thought that, you know, the stock price wouldn't go back down here because it would be too much of an opportunity. And then the stock price took off. I don't know why or how, but it took off and made me really rich. I was overconfident. Uh, I wanted to hold it long term. I thought I could become super rich and multimillionaire, but uh, stock crashed. And it just kept, it bounced around, kept going down, and it went down, and then Canopy got a big-ass deal from Constellation Brand for $5 billion, and legalization was around the corner, and there was Coke rumors that Aurora could be acquired by Coke, and the stock went all the way back to $14. At this point, I was gambling that Coke was uh, going to invest into Aurora, the stock went all the way back down. I stock, I thought the stock market was going to crash. I sold out around here. Uh, I sold out my most of my position around here. Stock crashed all the way back down to around, you know, six dollars and sixty-seven cents. Uh, I thought the stock was going to continue to go down because the stock market was going to crash. Donald Trump said buy the dip. Canopy came out with some good news. The entire cannabis market rallied back, and then Nelson Peltz came out, and then after that, we just been on a steady decline slope all the way down to about five dollars and eighty-two cents. Moving forward, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not this. I I think it's a possibility that Aurora could go all the way back down to two dollars or three dollars. Uh, that would just make it a golden opportunity for Aurora. Uh, there's already golden opportunities out there with certain stocks like Ianthus, Kiron Life Sciences. Uh, but Aurora, you know, I'm taking the possibility that Aurora could go back down to $2.91. At that point, I would just keep throwing money into it and just wait. Because I know that if legalization ever happened in the United States, I think... Aurora is gonna bounce back or canopy, but if Aurora was to go back down to two dollars and ninety one cents, my assumption is I'm hoping this chart works. Come on, chart work. 
my assumption is Canopy will go back down to around maybe fourteen, seven dollars, eleven dollars, you know. So if Aurora falls down that low, Canopy will fall down that low too. That's what I think. Uh, and then if Canopy rises, Aurora will rise with it. That's my opinion. I don't know if that's going to be a scenario, but. I'm prepared to hold on till it falls down to that price. I know people I know people who have you know who threw money into the stock because they thought it was a good deal at eight dollars. Uh you know, I don't know at the end of the day where Aurora is gonna go down, but I, I think that the safe banking act is gonna reverse the stock price. Uh but at the moment, you know, it I'm saying that there's a possibility Aurora could go down back to three dollars and Canopy can go back down to nine dollars. I'm saying that that's a possibility. I'm not saying that that will happen. If it does, that just creates a opportunity of a lifetime, in my opinion. So we'll see if that happens. I don't really think that will happen, but you never know. At the end of the day, stocks are unpredictable, and anything can happen. So we'll see what happens uh, moving forward. But I do think that we will bounce. I do think that there will be another rally. And I don't think that the stock, uh, I don't think Aurora and Canopy will go back down to 8 or $9. That's what I believe. But you always have to take the possibility that that could happen. Uh, so, you know, uh, right now, Aurora, if we look at the chart, Aurora went all the way down to $4.60 was the lowest. Wait, no, hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on a second. This is on Canadian side, sorry. That chart is probably not very accurate, but the stock had gone all the way down to around $5.34. So I'm thinking that we will hit around $5.34. I think that's going to be a resistance line, and I think the stock will bounce from there. But again, we also need a major catalyst in the market for the stock price to reverse, like legalization of Mexico or the state act passing or of Afria getting a deal similar to Constellation brand or Aurora getting a Coke deal or multiple partnerships. That's the only way for these stocks to recover, in my opinion. But, you know, I am still very interested to see what happens if Aurora earning, uh, sorry, Aurora annual general meeting comes around and the stock price is sitting at four Canadian dollars. I'm thinking there's going to be very, very unhappy people at the investor meeting complaining why the stock price is down so low. But again, you know, that's my opinion. A lot of people have lots of money thrown into Aurora and hope that the stock price will reverse soon. This is the scariest part of the stock market. I, it, in my opinion, it is a buying opportunity. But at the same time, how low can Aurora stock go is the question. I think that if it ever went back to 2 or $3, which I don't think will happen, if it does, that just creates a huge, huge buying opportunity because you have to think about long term. Aurora is set up for international. If Germany or some European company, uh, European country ever legalizes cannabis, Aurora will shoot back up to 14 Canadian dollars again. That's what I truly believe. So we'll see what happens. At the end of the day, it's risk. You know, the stock market is risky, but you know, I still believe in it. I still believe in the cannabis sector in general. And the biggest reason why I'm down below a million dollars is because of Harvest Health. I did not expect this stock to go all the way down to four Canadian dollars. At this moment, I think the stock could go down even lower. We could see this stock go all the way down to three Canadian dollars. The lowest has been is three dollars and uh, three dollars and ninety six cents today. I think it can go down lower. I think we can. I think we can see three Canadian dollars at three Canadian dollars. This is a ridiculous uh, buying opportunity. I think four dollars is also a ridiculous buying opportunity. Uh, I'm gonna hold on. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm going down with this Titanic. If this ship sinks, I'm sinking with it, so that's my choice at the end of the day. I can always just go get a job, and my, my, my life situation is not horrible. I don't have any debt. 
I don't have any uh, anything that can fundamentally weighing me down. I'm just gonna. I believe in the cannabis space. I believe that this uh, Harvest Health will recover. I believe that when the earnings come up and they are re- they are generating two hundred plus million dollars of revenue and they're still sitting at three or four dollars, it probably wouldn't make any sense. But that is a possibility. You know, but I, I don't think so. I think the stock will recover in the future. I think right now is a ridiculous buying opportunity. Again, it could go all the way down to three Canadian dollars. I don't know at the end of the day, the lower it goes, the more of an opportunity becomes. Uh, canopy growth right now is uh, after hours is down additional five cents and Aurora is down an additional four cents. Again, I still believe that this can get a lot worse before it gets better. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, oh, cat Kron is down additional five cents. Afria is down uh, three cents after hours. If we look at the before when it popped, you know when it popped forty percent, it went all the way back down to five dollars and forty cents, seven cents. Good thing I sold most of my car options. I still have a bunch of car options uh, that I am down on. So. We'll see what happens, but I'm thinking that, you know, if something big comes along, like, I don't know, Africa could come up with some earnings report, and they could say, oh, we're profitable again, and we could see another 40% bounce on uh, Africa stock. I think short sellers are just destroying the stock right now. Uh, you know, it's the same concept as, you know, bulls buying the stock on the way up. Bears are basically shorting the stock on the way down, just shorting it and shorting it and trying to get the price lower and lower and lower. That's what I think is happening right now in the cannabis space. Uh, Tilray is, um, you know, down to its uh, all-time low. I think the all-time low was around twenty-four dollars and fifteen cents. Very, very close. Uh, I think that, like, like I said. If the cannabis space is down, Tilray will go down with it. Liberal Health Science didn't do too bad today, which, you know, kind of a shocking, uh, sh- kind of shocking to me. I thought Liberal Health Science would go down to like 30 cents, but it didn't, which is kind of surprising for me. I would definitely be buying more at 30 cents, but I think that it's still a really good opportunity right now because like, I think if Florida ever becomes legal, I think liberal health science will go back to like a dollar fifty. But you know that would require a legalization of Florida, and they're pretty big in Florida. So and they they also can grow a lot of cannabis in Florida. They also have a lot of land to keep making land. I mean keep making uh, to increase their facility size. And then when the Safe Banking Act passes, they'll be able to borrow money to increase their facility size and become a major player in the cannabis market at least i'm hoping that's my hope with liberal health science at the end of the day liberal health science i think is undervalued for the the total assets i think you know uh i think a canadian company would love to buy liberal health science for 109 million dollars uh but if they can right now they can't but i i think Canadian companies love to buy lib- out, buy out liberal health science. Apple hitting its all time high. Market is all the way up right now. Uh, Bitcoin is trading sideways, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about Hive. Hive stock, Hive stock, Hive stock is trading sideways. It had a nice pop. I bought some at twenty cents, uh, and I'm up about you know twenty. 20% I think or something like that or uh, Yeah, something like that, but regardless I'm up on it uh, moving forward. I don't like it could fall back down That's a total possibility, but that just creates an opportunity I think if it goes back down to 20 cents, it is an opportunity if it go- keeps going up just slowly Take profit. That's no, that's the only thing I can really tell you guys, but anyways uh, not financial advice, just, you know, definitely take profit because I think, this is just my opinion, but I think that this is a very speculative stock and it'll just, I think the entire stock market is speculative in general. Like, I was very bullish on wheat stocks and yet wheat stocks just keeps going down, so, you know, but still, I think right now is an opportunity. Of course, it can keep going down, but at the end of the day, it's an opportunity, that's my opinion. 
Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.